Hey guys, hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're back with some more Forest Shuffle. Last episode, I managed to hit Elite and then win one more after that. So, already on the climb up the ranks. It's going to start us off here. And we're into our first match. Already seeing some possibilities. Tree Fern and Pond Turtle in the same hand. Beach Mountain as well. Always just nice to see. We'll start us off with a linden tree and another beach mountain. It's only going well. Now we'll have to see what the other player is up to. And they play a birch tree, which is a pretty neutral play. And a red deer as well. So honestly, these first draws I have not missed. <laughs> And I get to pick up a wolf, which is very unfortunate for them. Uh, I'm actually going to pick up the... Do I want the Douglas fur, or do I want... Yeah, so I'm going to go with the fur. Although I definitely see an argument for... Just going for the, the two oranges. I managed to pick them up anyway. Oh my god, I've got... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards with the orange symbol on them. That's a lot. Now, unfortunately, I don't really want to. I, I, I don't. I can't play the wolf yet. It'd be a terrible mistake. So. Yeah, I think I'll just. Just do a simple double Beach Martin start. And honestly, I kind of, I kind of want to draw a deer. And there's another, a third beach martin. Who am I to deny it? I guess now I can definitely put all of my pursuits into filling up trees. Play a birch. And there's the deer I've been looking for. Unfortunately, not the best. I mean, I guess just a butterfly is a fine play. Because I'm going to want to play... Tree fern, I'm gonna wanna play so I can pick up both oranges again. I'm gonna wanna play tree ferns, I'm gonna wanna play pond turtle. I'm not really fussed. I might not even play anything there. And two oranges, get the bonus on the red deer, get the fallow deer down as well. And we are just sitting so pretty at the moment. No actual points yet, but we're really setting it up for quite the scoring opportunity. I'll just draw some off the top. Common Toad, very nice. I do need some cards on the top, though. A good thing about whatever's going on here is things like that. Getting the Genesia and the Common Toad is going to mean that well, it's going to mean I'm going to be scoring a lot. My only concern is how do I sort of organize these plays? Because I don't have a butterfly I want to play. Maybe I start off with the tree fern. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I could just play the Toads? It's not a bad choice. I am going to need more trees, though. And more butterflies. Everything's gone. Let's draw two cards. Well, 
That's enticing. Are they playing butterflies? Not currently, but they do have the hedgehog down, which strikes me as something you'd only want to do if you were gonna try and finagle some. I'll just play the. I'll play the toad. Well, they have ten cards now, so I can go for it. And I value playing this Steinbock and getting the ten over taking the extra turn, so that's fine. And I can pick up the Genesha, just take one off the top. There's another deer. Ideally, I want to find... What do I want to find? Definitely not those. What's the play here? What's the play? The play is playing the pond turtle. And then after that... Well, there's no... I could just play the wolf. Pick up... Box. And one off the top. Don't really mind. Like, that's whatever. So... I guess... No, the wolf's completely fine here. It's, I don't care about any of those cards or the ones up there. Those cards, I also don't care about. Let's get the J down. Take another turn. So that's my that's my third turn in a row. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to do here. So it's just drawing some cards off the top. Well, I definitely need to play more trees. Kind of running out. But I also need some. I need some butterflies, man. Where are these butterflies at? Ah, they're in their hand, apparently. Well, I don't have anything. Mm. I do have a spot under the tree, so I'll just go for the tree ant. I mean, the wood ant. Scoring me ten at the moment. It's a perfectly reasonable score. There's another wolf, but man, am I really gonna be forced to? I don't want to play a linden tree. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play this larch, even if it's an incredibly mediocre play. Losing out on the beach martin's a little rough, but I've already got three. I don't think I can be too greedy about that. And hey, look, dark blue cards that I can play the wolf for. I do have another tree. I have the wood out. I just don't have... I don't have cards to put on the top. That's a... I can't believe that's my, my issue. So, play the wolf. Draw two. I, again, like, I'm just... Where are these damn butterflies at? They fill up half the deck or something. There's two. So I think next turn is a Genesha. And here. And then it's... Do I... I guess playing this one's better. The colouring on the other one. Maybe maybe I want to play that plant. I don't know. I doubt it, but maybe. Put down another butterfly. And they've they've scored up quite a bit. They get the Steinbock down, take an extra turn. Be very surprised if they play anything. What are they up to down here? How are they scoring so much? I actually don't know. Where? These? I don't know. 
it's a mystery to me. Is true off the top. There's a Steinbach. I do have the infrastructure to play it. Two, three. Take an extra turn. Yeah, and hey, just keep drawing off the top. That's another butterfly. And that is a little a little concerning. They uh snapped up the Hmm indeed. I think it's going to be a butterfly, and then I might pick up the brown bear. I have a lot of yellow cards. Second winter card. Uh, uh, playing that brown bear is a lot less tantalizing now, but I guess it's fine. And then discard these three. Where goes the brown bear? Uh, why did I draw? Oh, you draw a card and take an extra turn. How kind. Well, I need to play a new tree. That's definitely for certain. So down a new tree goes. And how unfortunate. I should have drawn from the top. But I did need to play the tree, so I couldn't have done anything about that. Got another wood ant under the tree, scoring me 16 points altogether. Another wolf. And it's going down. Well, I need to draw, unfortunately. The linden tree, I mean a beech tree. Oh. Do I need a tree? I do need a tree. I think it's got to be this. Uh, the Douglas fir puts me over the edge. Goes one card deeper, but it's definitely getting a little sketchy now. And they're ahead, so I can just lose now, unfortunately. But. Down goes the red deer. Wow. I'm very, I'm blown away, honestly. I haven't seen like any amphibians. And them getting that deer that found its way onto the market, definitely didn't help. Down goes the butterfly. Mm, I'm just a bit too far behind. And they have too many cards. This does not spark a joy. I mean, playing the rabbit is 15 points. Playing the toad is 10. Yeah, I think I have to play this hare. And then play the common toad. But they're just going to be able to draw. And that's the last winner card. 
unlucky. I have no idea. What did they beat me? This kind of beat me on all metrics. Minus 15? Um. Ooh, they, uh, so it's the trees. Well, they managed to cinch the... Yeah, I guess my trees just kind of sucked. They had three stone pines scoring them. Ah, uh, they also got the lindens. I mean, the beech trees. Okay, no, that makes sense. Queuing up for the next one. And here's our next match. Definitely liking the look of this hand. I think... What a tough... What a tough one. So many... So many cards I just want to keep in this opener. I want to keep both beast trees. The wood ant's decent. Tawny Owl draws you three cards if you manage to get it off. The tree fern's good. This weird bush turkey. I get to play the tree fern for free. But we'll see what they uh they decide to do. I think it's probably gonna be Beach sacking the red uh red squirrel and fireflies. I think the fireflies is an absolute terrible card. I don't know why you'd ever want to play it. Bye bye. And there's another oh wow, they're both the same colour. That's crazy. Well, do a little drawing as the first beach mountain of uh, the run. How to start it off? I think I will play the turkey and then I will get the tree fern underneath. This is the problem, isn't it? I don't want to keep all these cards. Let's draw some off the top. Check out the local surroundings. Well, I'm more inclined... I guess I can throw one of the beach trees up. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll just take another beech tree. I was tossing up in my head whether I wanted to try and do some, uh, do some shenanigans with uh, the European hares, but I don't, I don't think I do. I'll just play another tree. I'm completely fine just playing trees at the moment. I mean, picking up that bat isn't the worst. Yeah, so now I've got the bat. That is a delicious spot to be in. Then I can just play the next owl. Unfortunately, I'm throwing that up, but I think the certainty of this beech tree, it's five points. I snapped that up real quick, though. I guess the real question is, what do I want to do here? Oh, I'll, I'll just play another beach tree. What can I say? Genesia is nice. I'm, I feel like I'm going to be pissing off people by how I'm pronouncing it, but... Oh, I also want amphibians, that's right. So let's... Get the beach mountain down, draw another card. Alright, alright. Got a little deer mania going on.
one off the top and then this box will serve as the fodder for my red deer which I will be doing this turn sacking the linden tree and this red fox and then getting a fallow deer down as well and I'm definitely liking where I'm sitting here I mean I've I've said that last game but I, I mean I liked where I was sitting last game as well just unfortunately it did not pan out the way we wanted it Too little scoring from trees. There's the tree frog, but I don't want to play the tree frog. There's an interesting one. Do I want to play the large tortoise shell? Uh, we'll just start it off with the gentia, and then we'll get the butterfly down as well. Hmm. I definitely might pick that raccoon up. What don't I want here? These trees. Play those three. Pick up the raccoon. And then I'll just start drawing from the top of the deck. That's nice. Do I even have... I don't even have one amphibian yet. Out is pretty funny. It makes this tree frog a lot more of an interesting play though. I'm playing them means the uh, golden eagles are more of an enticing offer as well. How enticing there. Whatever I play disappears. I think I think I can pass on the golden eagle. I don't oh wait, I don't even need to. What to do? I think I've got too many cards in my hand I wanna play. So Getting rid of them with the raccoon is, isn't really an option. How to play this? Got a fire salamander down. Uh, I can play something. I guess I can play this. I mean, it's a free 10 points. I would be foolhardy not to play it. But I just, I need... I need trees down, and these are not the trees I want to be playing. I guess realistically, the uh, the silver fur, you know, usually will be a plus six to eight, somewhere between those two numbers. Got another beech tree down. Another butterfly. Choices, choices, choices. Well, common toad, very valuable. None of those very valuable at all. What would be nice was is one of the alpine newts, but I think it's going to be pretty hard for me to get my hands on one of those. That's nice. Do I play it? No. If it was the dark green, not the light green, I would, it would be foolhardy not to play it as a... Uh, I'll just play another butterfly, I think. Get us to eight cards so we can draw two next turn. And this peacock butterfly, one I don't have because that's going to be a common toad. Honestly, I've just got too much stuff in my hand. Too, much, too many goodies. Well, 
That's annoying. How can I get that? Maybe, well, if I play, maybe if I play the Toad, it's got the best chance. So I'll have to take the L on the turn. But they should just pick it up. Be very foolhardy if they didn't. Oh, okay. I'll take it. It is. Oh, there's two. So we play this. And then we get. Is this the butterfly I need? Yep. Another butterfly. Some good points off that. the best play here. Tree? I could tree. I don't really need another tree though at the moment. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a deer. Then I have I I kinda need the toad though. I'll get the butterfly down. So now we're at a set of four. Draw that butterfly and just one off the top. Now, here's the question. What do I want to do here? I want to draw two. And I think, oh, well, that's the end of the game. Win by six, I'll take it. Nice quick one. Oh, and I'm I've gone up from before. Lovely. That was a nice that was very few turns. Quite the uh I guess we were drawing through a lot. I drew six here. Yeah, wow well, a very very fast one. Well, they did play two wolves. A lot of trees as well. That's that's something that definitely you don't really think about, but churns through the deck quite quickly because every tree is minimum one card gone extra from the deck. So they played 12 trees. That's 12 cards just out of the deck already. And then, you know, 14, 15, 16, just, but just from trees alone. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I do have some things planned coming up. I don't know when, maybe next few days. I'm planning on doing a, a tier list for the the uh, Alpine expansion with the base game. Basically, whatever you experience while playing Arena. Uh, notably, the... There is another expansion. I've played with it once so far, but it's currently not in the expan uh, in Arena, and you also can't play with both, which it is coming, and I'll probably leave uh, the a tier list for that separately when it comes out because you you, know, you can't really rate the cards uh, just statically. You need to take into consideration how they play together so i'll have to wait and see how uh, arena turns out in eight days yeah thanks for thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day